attempted terrorist attack. Caught on camera. And I heard a loud explosion behind me up in Florida. A bunch of people started running. A man with a bomb strapped to his body, injured and arrested. This male was wearing an improvised low-tech explosive device. Tonight, uncovering the motive behind an attempted terror attack. A massive wildfire raging in Southern California is getting bigger. Authorities say high winds are feeding the Thomas Fire, helping it grow as it consumes just about everything in its path. It is now the third largest wildfire on record in California. The Thomas Fire is linked to two deaths, including a firefighter. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. A Boston University professor claims Jingle Bells is rooted in racism. Wow. Professor Kaina Hamill saying, quote, the racial history of the song has remained hidden behind its local and seasonal affection. Blackface and racist origins have been subtly and systematically removed from its history. Carol Swain is a former professor at Vanderbilt University and the author of Abduction, How Liberalism Steals Our Children's Hearts and Minds. I mean, what a better uh, book title <laughs> than stealing Christmas from our families? What in the world is going on? Well, in academia, we get rewarded for coming up with ideas, and the more extreme, the better. And we know that with Jingle Bells, it doesn't matter how it was originally performed. What matters is that it transcends time and race and place. It's a Christmas classic. We all love it. Why take it away? Absolutely. Why the reflexive desire in academia, but more, more inclusively on the left, to go back to the divisive or origins or the things that divide us as opposed to trying to point toward the things that bring us together? I think it's part of this whole leftist agenda that I tie to cultural Marxism to destroy America as we know it. And for some reason, race has always been used, keep stirring the pot, instead of pushing for racial reconciliation, what we really need in this country, the political left and sadly the universities, they seem to have gone, I mean, they helped create this environment where we send our young people to college, they get politicized. They may be indifferent to race. They see everyone the same, but once they get on the campus, they didn't get involved with the ethnic studies programs, mm -hmm. then you get hatred, and that shouldn't be.